subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi, welcome to Test Prep Training. Today we will discuss about, Exam 62 to 193, Technology Literacy for Educators. This exam validates that, educators have the global educator technology literacy competencies, needed to provide a rich, custom learning experience for students. Target Audience This exam is best suitable for First, individuals preparing to become classroom educators. Second, current educators. Third, faculty at teacher training, or pre-service colleges. Fourth, educational administrators. Fifth, other professionals looking to provide validation of competency. Now we will discuss about, learning objectives. Microsoft provides learning exam objectives for the 62 to 193 exam that help the candidates to understand and know about the concepts before preparation. Moreover, these exam concepts are provided with sections and subsections to make you learn about it in depth. The Microsoft 62 to 193 exam includes training resources that provide a learning path to help you during the studying time. However, for the Microsoft 62 to 193 exam the basic concepts include First, advancing communication skills. Second, student collaboration. Third, simplifying knowledge construction. Fourth, working on self-regulation. Fifth, assisting in real-world problem solving and innovation. Sixth, student use of information and communication tools. Seventh, using ICT to be an effective educator. Exam format. Technology Literacy for Educators 62 to 193 exam includes 40 to 60 number of questions that can be of type like a case study, short answers, multiple choice, mark review, drag, and drop, etc. However, for completing this exam you will be given a time duration of 60 minutes and to pass the exam it is required to score a minimum of 700 on a scale of 900. Further, the exam will cost you 127 US dollars including the additional taxes. Candidates can give the exam in English, German, French, Chinese, Spanish, Portuguese, Russian, Polish, Japanese, and Turkish language. Now we will talk about scheduling the exam. Microsoft 62 to 193 exam is for individuals preparing to become classroom educators, current educators, faculty at teacher training or pre-service colleges, educational administrators with competencies to provide a rich, custom learning experience for students. Course Structure First, facilitate student collaboration. Second, facilitate skilled communication. Third, facilitate knowledge construction. Fourth, facilitate self-regulation. Fifth, facilitate real-world problem solving and innovation. Sixth, facilitate student use of information and communication tools. Seventh, use ICT to be an effective educator. Let us now discuss about course structure topics in detail. First, facilitate student collaboration. 1.1, determining the level in which a learning activity meets the rubric for collaboration. It contains, first, preparing activities that enable students to work together, have a shared responsibility for deliverables, make decisions that are substantive, and crucial to learning activity success, and work interdependently. Second, analyzing, evaluating, designing, and managing the learning environment to facilitate student collaboration, given a set of resources available in a classroom. Second, facilitate skilled communication. 2.1, modifying learning activity to meet the rubric for the highest level of skilled communication. It contains, Preparing activities that enable students to create product deliverables, that convey a set of connected ideas, are multimodal, require supporting evidence, and are designed for a specific audience. 2.2, evaluating student product examples for determining the level to which they meet the skilled communication rubric. Evaluating student product examples on the use of connected ideas, multimodal approach, supporting evidence, and designed for a specific audience. Third, Facilitate knowledge construction. 3.1. Determining the level to which a learning activity meets the knowledge construction rubric. It contains. Prepare interdisciplinary activities that enable students to apply knowledge in a new context. 3.2. Transforming a didactic learning situation into an activity that requires students to apply knowledge in a new context that facilitates interdisciplinary learning. It contains. Preparing activities that enable students to spend their time 
and effort developing knowledge that is new to them, and participate in interdisciplinary learning activities. Fourth, facilitate self-regulation. 4.1, determining the level to which a learning activity meets the rubric for self-regulation. It contains preparing long-term activities that enable students to plan their own work and revise work based on feedback. 4.2, verifying which opportunities facilitate an environment of self-regulation. It contains first, providing students with opportunities to set their learning goals. Second, deciding on the best strategies to achieve these goals. Third, monitoring to see if these strategies are working. Fifth, facilitate real-world problem solving and innovation. 5.1, determining the level to which a learning activity meets the rubric for real-world problem solving. It contains first, preparing activities that enable students to develop a solution to a problem that is new to them. Second, completing tasks that have not been instructed how to do. Third, designing a complex product that meets a set of requirements. 5.2 Selecting strategy for encouraging students to problem solve, innovate, and apply a solution that benefits others in the real world. It contains Developing learning objectives that involve real-world issues. Sixth, facilitate student use of information and communication tools. 6.1 Determining the level to which a learning activity meets the rubric for use of ICT learning. It contains Preparing activities that enable students' use of ICT to support knowledge construction. 6.2 Fulfilling student learning outcomes by using Microsoft technology tools. It contains Identifying the skills required to implement the resources. 6.3 Selecting the best ICT resource to help resolve or manage the logistical challenges of reaching the desired educational outcome. It contains First, configuration issues in lab. Second, shared computers third byod seventh use ict to be an effective educator 7.1 verifying which ict resource supports a specified educational outcome it contains evaluating a learning activity rate the appropriateness of specific ict resources address the diverse needs of all learners 7.2 determining the appropriate pedagogical approach to meet an educational outcome using ict resources First, planned versus unplanned situations. Second, appropriate performances of understanding. Third, different learning styles. 7.3, selecting an appropriate ICT resource to reach a professional development goal. It contains. First, improving productivity. Second, time management skills. 7.4, evaluating responses to a scenario involving digital citizenship. It contains. First, internet safety. Second, security issues. Third, cyberbullying. Fourth, digital footprint. Fifth, privacy issues. Sixth, communication forums. Seventh, acceptable use. Exam policies. Microsoft provides exam policies to support the candidates by providing every detail related to the certification program. However, Candidates during the studying for the Microsoft 62 to 193 exam should first go through and understand the Microsoft certification exam policies. On this page, the candidates will get information about after the exam or before exam procedures. This includes the exam retaking process, rules to be followed during the exam time, and other information about the exams and its testing centers. Microsoft accommodations. Accommodation requests are done on a case by case basis. Microsoft accommodations can be requested using the Reasonable Adjustments Request System. The Reasonable Adjustments Request System is a secure system for requesting accommodations and submitting supporting documentation. However, for first-time users, you will need to create a username and password. After that, log into the system and request for accommodations by clicking on the Start Your Request Here button. Lastly, you will require to upload supporting documentation. And, if you haven't already done so, give your evaluator, doctor, psychologist, a copy of the guidelines for evaluators for your disability. Evaluators have to make sure that the documentation meets the guidelines. After uploading the necessary documents, click the submit button at the bottom of the page. And, you have to wait for 10 business days to review your materials. Now we will talk about, study resources for Microsoft 365 fundamentals. 
Microsoft provides various methods and ways that will help you during the technology literacy for educators. 62 to 193, Exam Preparation. First, Microsoft Learning Platform. The Learning Platform by Microsoft gives candidates access to get information about the exam using the learning resources. For the Microsoft 62 to 193 exam, these study resources can be accessed from the official exam page. That is to say, you just have to search for the Microsoft 62 to 193 exam, and the essential information will be provided that will help you in understanding it better. It will help the candidates to become a Microsoft certified trainer. Second, instructor-led training. Microsoft has given an advantage to candidates providing instructor-led training. This training will help students to advance their communication skills, knowledge construction, self-regulation, and the real-world problem-solving, and innovation. Moreover, this will help candidates to understand the topics, and sections over a short time duration. Third, joining study groups. During the exam preparation time, it is good to join study groups, as these groups will help you to stay connected with the other people, who are on the same pathway as yours. Moreover, here you can start any discussion about the issue related to the exam, or any query. By doing so, you will get the best possible answer to your query. Fourth, practice tests for exam. Practice tests are important during the time of preparation. As by assessing yourself with these tests you will know about your weak, and strong areas. We all know time plays an essential role during the exam. So, by practicing you will be able to improve your answering skills, that will result in saving a lot of time. Moreover, the best way to start doing practice tests is after completing one full topic, as this will work as a revision part for you. So, make sure to find the best practice sources. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.